Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty GF, and we are here with episode 23 of Red Dead Redemption 2. In the previous episode, we remained in Valentine where we picked up our third outfit from the general store. We partaked in a botched robbery. Uh, he wanted us to rob his friend, and then we got caught, and then the police descended on us. It wasn't a fun time. Uh, but we stayed behind to complete our first bounty mission, although it was actually another proper mission called Good on His Snake Oil, where we had to bring in the culprit who was selling fake medicine to people. It was actually proven to be quite deadly. We completed the strange mission to the ends of the earth, where we brought a guy called William some yarrow plants, I think it was, and finished up by grabbing some collectibles, including our first dream catcher, a few cigarette cards, and a couple of dinosaur bones as well. So before we crack on with today's work, let me go through our off-camera set. So we have picked up some moose antlers and three cougar pelts, and also completed the herbalist three, gambler three, sharpshooter four, and weapons expert three challenges. So I'll whack that in here, and I'll see you guys when we're done. You're all right, boy. Hold on. Just give me a minute, boy. You look Hello, like you've got steady hands. Come join us. Okay, I'll play. Time to shine. You're sober. Oh, oh. I'm much good at this. Stupid game. Waste of time. Okay, bye.
So when it comes to hunting, because those two were easily the hardest animals I've had to find so far, what I did was I made some potent herbivore bait, which you've got to create on your own. And I came over to old Craig's run and I placed it just about under here, although I made sure to save beforehand because obviously you don't want to waste it. And it came away and then quite luckily on my second attempt, I think it was, I managed to get a moose to come up, but it was only a good pelt. But we don't need a perfect pelt, we just need the antlers for this one, although we will need perfect pelts in the future. And for the cougars, I got these over here in West Elizabeth. So you can see the marker is here, but I mostly got it on sort of around this area down here, just as the goes away from the, the stream. Uh, so yeah, and obviously I decided to replace, because they usually get four animals, uh, but the other two that we can get for the camp, uh, you need a sniper rifle to get perfect belts on, so I decided to replace them with more challenges. But as per usual, let's get some crafting upgrades. You know, we can probably only get a, a few. So yeah, we can't get that one yet, we need the bison pelt for that. At uh, Arthur's Lodging, we can get the cougar pelt covered chest. You deserve it. Uh, let's see, that's done. Oh, we crafted 13 unique items. Sweet. That's done. That's done. Make campfire, get the moose antlers now. That'll make everyone happy. Sweet. And yeah, so the only things we need to get now is the alligator skull. Um, and the provision satchel. And that will unlock Legend of the East, and then we'll be completely done with the camp in terms of cosmetic upgrades. Now, you may have noticed that I've got a lot of markers going on all over the place. Basically, we decided to do this as opposed to me constantly checking between the map and just might save me time on editing and messing about. So these are basically the locations that are off route that I want to head to today. But first of all, we're going to pop back into Valentine to pick up our next outfit and also we're going to speak to the sheriff while we'll we're down there. Um, hopefully the issue with the poor frame rate is fixed now. It, I had edited my settings and I tried it out with the off camera set with hunting and I didn't seem to encounter any problems. And I also tried it out in Valentine and Saint Denis and both of them seemed to go pretty flawlessly. It wasn't actually the graphics, that was the issue, it was the refresh rate. I've had to turn that down to 30 and it was 60 before. Uh, I don't know why it's only started becoming an issue now when uh, Everything's been fine for like the first 15 episodes or so, but it is what it is. But yeah, so most of these markers that I've placed around Valentine are cigarette card locations. So I'm going to try and visit all of those just so we can sort of clear Valentine off the list of areas to go for collectible hunting. And I've also marked the locations that we'll be visiting as part of the American Dreams Stranger, which is the last one that we have to do for chapter 2, which I'm hoping we can get done today. Uh, also, I did some research into uh, To the Ends of the Earth. Apparently there's not actually multiple parts to this, so I was wrong. Uh, it is in fact just the single part, then he reappears as random encounters, although they are quite random. Like, I went to the next location where he's apparently meant to spawn, which is in Clement, near Clement's Point, and I went to the exact location as was marked in someone's YouTube video, and he wasn't there. So, I've just decided if we bump into him, we'll say hi, but other than that, I'm not going to focus too much. Okay, so we'll stop off at the train station, because there's a cigarette card in here, apparently. It should be on like a table or something. Oh, hello. Um, I'm quite sure where. Well, I guess we're where we can mill off those locations too. Um, Debra McGuinness. Hmm? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I see it there. Cool. And that is Doctor Hawthorne's domestic brand cigarettes, Valentine. So it's a Vistas of America cat. All right, sweet. Cool. Alright, let's just um, take the marker off there. Right, we have another one. It's just a little bit inwards in this barn, I think. I've tried to be quite specific with where I put the markers so I don't end up looking at the wrong buildings and stuff like that. Where are you going? Hang on a second. There's so something you... up with this one. I can tell. Look at this fake. Careful, everybody. 
Whatever you come looking for ain't here. Clear these streets. And what you gonna do if I don't? All right, let's do this. All right. You'll see how his was the uh, he was the one causing issues here. You don't look tough. Okay, tough. Oh. I Soft as silk. I swear to God, I'm gonna be the one who gets in trouble for this as well, aren't I? Oh, look who it is. Mr. Billy Big Boy with a gun. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. There's a sound effect. I don't know if it was one of, oh my god, this guy's just killed a gangster. Oh. Yep. You guys are probably glad that he's dead, aren't you? I bet. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, I think this one is up this ladder. If I'm not mistaken. Possibly anyway. Oh yeah, there it is. Just about to see you. That's a sneaky one. Okay, that gems of beauty card eleven. Faye Delaro. Okay. Sweet. And down we go. Okay. I'll take that one off. Uh, we've got a few around the theatre. Oh, the, sh the show area, whatever you want to call it. Come here, boy. Let's go. Okay, oh, oh, careful. Sorry. Oh, yeah, um, I am also at the maximum bonding with Captain Jack now. Just by the amount of time we spent together in that uh, hunting set. But we'll have a couple more weeks with him, give him about the same amount of time as we did with um, Philip the Elder. Hello, here for a ticket to the show? Okay, I'll buy a ticket. I don't really intend to see the show. Ticket, right then, just head inside the tent. Well, we gotta go in to get the card. I don't really want to cause aggro with anybody. Uh, let's just see. Oh. Yeah, I just want to see the card there. There we go. Stars of the stage. Folks, Nettie I'm going to tell you a morality tale from when our country was young that the settlers used to okay. tell about the woods of Massachusetts. That was a fun show, thank you. That lived there. Oh One dear, summer, didn't like the show? We don't. <laughs> Bit 50 cents for a cigarette card. Uh, okay, uh, we got a little, we'll go down here first of all, just because it's a little bit out of the way. There you are. Okay, wasn't quite as bang on as I would have liked to this one, but sure. It says Leviticus Cornwall, Oil Tycoon. Okay. Sweet. Okay, right, let's just uh, let's take that one off. Back up this way. Excuse me. I'm gonna need you now, boy. Oh. Come on, Jack, look at me. Guess this one seems to be with the troop area. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, that's not it. I'm gonna take his food. Ah, there it is. Oh, awesome. Miles off. Oh, yeah, cigarettes. Ugh. Come on. Oh. Oh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Stars of the stage. Isadori Reed. Oh, Isador, sorry. Alright. Take that one off. So I've just got a couple of bits in the town itself. Uh, we'll go to the saloon. 
That's where our next one is. You're all right, boy. Where the heck am I? Hey there, pal. Can you help me? Hey, you. Some help finding my way home. What's going on? I can't make heads or tails of where I'm at. I live in front of the saloon next to the freight station. You know if I'm heading in the right direction? Sure, sure. Just head over that way. You'll get home fine. Thank you, mister. Certainly do appreciate it. Certainly do. <laughs> Coming from a good time, huh? Give him one of these ribs. <laughs> I think I'll take a nice long... That would be advisable. Alright, I'll pop into the general store first just in case it closes. Uh, because it's getting pretty late. You ain't been through in a while. So let's not Got everything that you need. Have a look. Yeah, to be fair. I can get you anything. It's been a lot of time trying to find cougars. They were a pain in the ass. Okay, so we've got one more outfit we can buy. A unique one for Valentine, anyway. Uh, which is the last one, of course. The Jubilee Creek. Sweet. That's a fine item right there. We, we need to make some money. We've dipped below a thousand. That's, that's no good. That's it for now. Alright. Bye bye. Okay, so we're just gonna pop next door. Sure, I think this one was on the windowsill. Yes, there it is. Amazing inventions. Cylinder. Was it a cylinder phonograph? Oh, sorry. Oh, that's the that's the racist. I'm gonna punch and steal his hat. I hope you don't recognise him. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Seems to be pissing everyone off today, don't I? Um, right, so we've got one more up this way. Good evening, mister. Good evening. Uh, and this one is in the graveyard, I believe, specifically, which is why I didn't put it on the actual church. <laughs> oh, that must be the uh, the guy we scouted home. Oh dear. Okay. Um, do we see any cigarette cards? Ah, there it is. That's quite hard to see, especially because it's getting dark and kind of matches the colour of the the gravestone. So we've got Frank Heck. Oh heck, he's a famous gunslinger. Yes, he is. Okay, so, there's our last cigarette card, well, no it's not, sorry, we know he's our last cigarette card. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, it's uh, quite a find for our collection today. And then we'll um, head back to the sheriff, see if we can get American Dream started. Okay, let's see. What have we got here? Can I hold this outside? I don't really want to break into anybody's house. Hmm. That would indeed be unwise. Hang on, is this where we met with Mary a couple of episodes ago? Hmm. Oh, yep. Yeah. See the card. Okay. Artists, writers, and poets. Card 10. Uh, Charles Chatonet. I believe we bump into him uh, later on in the game. In uh, Stranger Mission. I recognise the name, anyway. Okay. Got rid of you. And, uh, yeah. That covers it. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, let's head back into town. Uh, we're going this way. I don't know if the sheriff's on certain hours. 
like the general store and stuff like that. I don't plan to do the bounty egg just because we did one last episode. I hope it doesn't make me do it. But I mean, I think you've got to actually pick up the poster to start those anyway. If I ain't mistaken, you're looking for a bounty. Look no further than that wall, son. Well, not really. Sure. Apparently, I can't. That's no good, is it? Uh, we're going to examine the jail ledger. I've got that as um, a document. But. We can't actually take it or anything. Hmm. Doesn't even have the. Is it Benedict Albright? It's odd. My apologies, sir. Hey, easy. Oh, we got next to me. Howdy. Hello. Thank you for keeping the peace. We need more like you. I'll see you around. Hmm. It's you. I thought I'd stop by to see you. You've seen the air of your ways, I hope. You haven't been very good at that, I'm afraid. They're gonna hang me. Please. <laughs> okay, come on, can you not just... I need... Well, I mean, you can start it by just going to the crime scenes, but I kind of want to start it properly. Wait. Clumsiness ain't a crime. Ugh. Right, okay. Take the bounty then. See if that'll open him up for conversation. The terror Twenty-five dollars. Great. Ellie and Swan. A reward of twenty-five dollars will be paid for the arrest of Ellie and Swan wanted for the crime of matricide. The above amount will be paid immediately for the delivery of the prisoner. Once alive for questioning, known as the Black Widow, she has been seen in the Cumberland Falls area with an unknown male who may be manipulating her. All information, all reward claims to be addressed to Sheriff C. Malloy, Valentine Sheriff's Office. Black Widow. Hmm. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. Oh. I was confused for a second that I was really like, wait, wasn't one of the people we spoke to about uh Jim Boy Calloway? And there's like, ah no, that was um Black Bell, not Black Widow. Okay. Well, it wasn't exactly on my to do list for today, but I What's the issue? I've got kind of, kind of busy. Yeah, Mister, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm in a real bind. This fella, he's in a bad way. You gotta help me. I'll pay you. Okay, okay, calm down. Where is he? He's inside, upstairs. Come with me. I'll show you. This is a, this is completely gonna be a uh, a robbery, isn't it? There ain't no way in hell this is going to be a situation where it's like, okay, you, I'm going to rob you. I'm going to, uh... Take my gun out just in case. I mean, it could be, a, could be a real situation. Highly doubt it, though. Oh. It was me or him. I swear. What the hell is this? i got to clean this room. Can you get rid of him, please? I'll give you all the money I got. Hazard started beating on me, choking me. He was a demon in human shape. Jesus. Well, I guess he had it coming. Yes. Yes, he did. So will you help me? Uh, I came this far. Okay, I'll get rid of him. You gotta help me, please. Okay. I must really be losing my mind this time. <laughs> no, there's a pig pen not too far. Just dump the body in there and they'll eat him up in no time. Ugh. Gross. Okay, well, thank God it's the middle of the night. It's the best chances of getting away with nobody seeing. Probably will still be, knowing my luck. Should be some random passerby like that. Hey! What's going on here? Come on. Thank you. 
Look at that. <laughs> well, that guy saw everything. Better not have to silence that fool. I've got blood. I've got blood on me. Oh, yeah. Call it. Please tell me you did it. I'm back, ain't I? Thank you. Please take it. Take all of it. Okay. Thank you. Ten dollars. Yeah, well. Women of Valentine, how are you, mister? You did a good thing. Now please go. Maybe I'm too trusting. Oh well. Find up another time. That means you kill your sweetheart. Hmm. Someone else is looking for her. That was uncalled for. Just calm down, lady. You are a piece of work. Now, come in. Rot in hell. Rot with the rest of them. Sorry, dude. Let's see what we got this on you. Is, uh, very kind of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I pick her up, please? We got come on. Now the fun starts. <laughs> Settle it. Okay, I'm just gonna give Jack a little clean you before we right set off. Of you. Okay, cool. Alright, let's uh, head on back to Valentine. Hopefully without issue. It's a lot of guys just gonna come in. Start shooting at me. Oh dear. What came over me? Did I, did I just do those things? It's a, it's a horrible blur. But I see blood. There's blood everywhere. It won't come out. I'm not like that. I'm a good girl. We're really. I promise I am. You believe me, don't you? Don't you, mister? N-O. Not a chance. I'm not even gonna give you the satisfaction of an answer. Haha. <laughs> I'm not gonna punch it up. That seems a bit know, too far. Okay? I, I have an illness. A fever of the brain. I, I, I've done bad things, but a jail. A jail ain't where I belong. A sanatorium, maybe. Get me help, mister. Please. Save me. Save me from the sheriff. And moreover, from myself. Ew, lady, you can't just, you can't just suddenly fess up to your crimes like, oh, well, you know, I had uh, issues. It, it, it doesn't work You're like such that. such a strong man. So tough and burly. Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I wouldn't be in this mess. My men folk, they've all been weak. That's what my problem's been. How I got in this unfortunate situation. But a big strong man like you, you'd set me straight, wouldn't you, mister? Put me on the straight and narrow? No. Sorry, dear, but a cell is what awaits you. Jill, you go. 
You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> that we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I, I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feather out by the falls. Poor dear. <laughs> they just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. Ah. Uh, there we go. Twenty-five dollar reduce. The black widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Now uh, that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. So it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. Gonna take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. It's silly to keep me locked up in here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just little old me. Let me out to exercise a little. I'm immune to your charms, Mrs. Swan. <laughs> it's so boring in here. Can we have some fun, Sheriff? Just the two of us. And to think you were sniffing around this office at one point. I'm lucky you was charmed by another. Okay. You see, Sheriff, I know your secrets. And I could spread them all over. Like Miss Moria. Don't you dare mention Mora again. Now hush. <laughs> oh. Show me some sympathy, Sheriff. I'm a widow. A poor little widow. You forget? They can say what they like about you, but at least you respected the sanctity of marriage. Till death do us part. <laughs> Come on, for goodness sake. Fine. Still not giving me the buddy. <laughs> All right. Let's go, boy. So, that is where we're going to end it for today. Let's have a look at our progress bar. So we're 60% of the way through the story. I did manage to get gold on both um, Mule Loved Ones and True Path 3 and Good Honest Snake Oil. It was just the time, you know, getting back to, uh, to Mary and the Sheriff respectively on that one. So, but I uh, managed to get that better on that try. Uh, compared to that sort of have got a bit of challenges obviously as well, we're into another 4, total completion 38%. Um, let's see, it's a story, let's save. So, last time we're at 38.1%, this time we're at 38.9%, so that's not too shabby. Alright, that is where we are going to end it for today. In the next episode, hopefully we'll be able to get American Dream started. I might just leave Valentine and come back and see if he's willing to talk then. Uh, we'll see if we can grab uh, the fountain pen for Mary Beth uh, from Osmond Grove. And then uh, see if we can get the spine for America done, if we have enough time. But before I wrap up, let me thank my amazing patrons. My £5 plus patrons are run highlight ever the snake. You can find links to their channels as well as my other £3 plus patrons in the description down below. And on screen, you'll see you to my £1 plus patrons. Thank you so much, everyone. It's truly appreciated and it goes a long way to help with the channel, so I do thank you a lot for that. And if you wish to join those patrons, you can find a link in the description down below to my Patreon page. But you don't have to do that because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be sure to share the video. I'll see you guys in episode 24. Everything changes. Bye, guys.